This is Dr. Y.H.T. Coleman III. This is video two of six in the basic cataract series. And we're going to take a look at the capsorexis and talk through it, not necessarily in the order that it's occurring on the screen. I like to use the keratome to puncture the capsule. You'll see that in the previous video. That gives me a good starting point for my capsorexis. I like to try to forceps versus a cystotome. You'll notice in this video it's about three minutes and 33 seconds of actual surgical contents of 33 seconds apiece per capsorexis. So I prefer to go in with the tips closed together. Even if you have to puncture the capsule uh, with the utratas, go with the tips closed together and lift up. And that gives you a good starting point rather than having to just tear in whatever random direction it may go, which is what tends to happen when you drag the utrata forceps across the rexus from distal towards proximal in relationship to the wound. So I lift up with the tips together. I'm a fan of going clockwise. I think you should be able to go both ways. It's whichever way you prefer. But generally it takes three to four grasps. Uh, if you can keep it in good control, 5.5 millimeter rexus is about optimal, but you know, a little bit bigger, a little bit smaller works fine. So you see me lifting up. Now I'm grasping very close to the free edge, very close to the edge of the tear. And I'm lifting up some. I want to make sure I'm not pushing down and dragging across the capsule in other places and starting a new rexus in a different spot. Make sure we've got it complete. I always say that making the capsule rexus is sort of like shooting pool. And if you never shot pool before, it mainly just means that you always want to set up for your next shot. So wherever you leave the rexus hanging, it should be an easy place to re-grasp. We want to avoid trying to regrasp directly beneath your main wound. That's the hardest place to do it. We also want to be conscious when we have a fairly large chunk of the rexus near the wound that if we allow viscoelastic to burp out, that sometimes the rexus will come out and t with the uh, viscoelastic and tear the capsule out in an uncontrolled way. You can get an equatorial tear that way. I believe these all went clockwise on this given day so you can see a little bit different level of patient cooperation a little bit different level of visualization in each of them but in general I'm trying to leave the free edge of the rexus pointed vertically up so that I have an easy place to re-grasp on the next pass I don't spend a lot of time trying to grasp when it's laying flat and, it, and making it difficult on myself so think about your next grasp before you let go See it burping out of the wound there a little bit. And the main thing I want to do if I see it burping out the wound is go ahead and grab it, get control of it, and keep it from being an uncontrolled tear out. So we'll lift up a little to get it started. Bring it around. You know, the capsule is probably the hardest part of cataract surgery when you're starting out. Uh, grasp it as many times as you need to. Just remember, don't let go under the surgical wound. Uh, be sure to watch the other six videos in this sequence. They're intended to be helpful if you're struggling on a specific piece of subject matter um, that you can get some repetitive videos from a few different patients and get a real world idea of what it looks like on a given day. Thanks everybody for watching. See you in the next one.